this is Kate McWilliams of Unprofitable Instruments. This video um, will show you, introduce you to my monochords and what you get when you order a monochord. It's not necessarily a how to use your monochord video, I have that elsewhere, but a um, now that you know that you want a monochord, what are you going to get if you order an instrument from me? Um, there are things that come in your monochord kit which I'll share with you. You also get a choice between a basic monochord or a deluxe monochord, and so I'll just bring you through the differences of those so you can see them yourselves. So a monochord is quite simply a string over a vibrating box. It was used throughout the Middle Ages to explore the relationship between length and pitch. And so to use it, you um, take a little bridge, shorten the string length, and get different notes. Now, where are those notes? That's the million dollar question. Um, this is a Pythagorean tuning. So these are division sticks and they have uh, the notes marked out on them. There are many different types of tuning and places of, for the notes. So this is Pythagorean. And um, you put your bridge at a line. And you get your note. The bridge, these bridges are specially designed to be just about the height of the string and no more. If they were too high, you would distort the string by stretching it, uh, change the pitch. And so you'll have to dampen the back edge of the string with your finger whenever you use it. Otherwise, it buzzes a lot. This is a little handheld bridge. You hold it like you would a pencil and you can um, move a little bit more smoothly and quickly between notes that way. If uh, in the kit you can um, make these tunings yourselves by following the uh, pure ratio instructions. So this is a, a dividers. Um, you, I recommend getting some receipt paper. You can also do this on the back of one of the division sticks or order di blank division sticks from me. Get a, your string marked out on it and, uh, and explore wonderfully the relationship between equal divisions and, and the notes, the pitches that you hear. Uh, the basic, the monochord purchase will come with four marked division sticks. They are Pythagorean, uh, chromatic Pythagorean, adjust tuning, and equal temperament. The monochord is strung with harpsichord wire and so, um, like any good string, its best speaking spot is just a little bit below its, bre its breaking spot, so be careful that you don't twist it too sharp. Um, it's used with a, a tuning hammer. Um, it has a, a peg that's recessed in one end, a little pin. If you um, have such a hammer in your collection, let me know, and I can take that away from the cost. Um, you can. I will include one extra uh, one extra string in the purchase to ensure you against one breakage. After that, you'll have to get your own strings from a harp harpsichord supplier, such as Zuckerman harpsichord, or if uh, you know someone with a harpsichord string set, you might be able to get um, just the length that you need from them in the proper gauge. Uh, is twisted harpsichord wire? Again, a harpsichord technician uh, will know how to to twist the wire and help you with that. The monochord has four feet that rest on the table. Uh, one of them is deliberately just a little bit loose, and so you can adjust its height. And so, uh, depending on your table, it won't jiggle around underneath you. Um, if you want more than one string on your monochord, I do make two and three stringed instruments called dichords and trichords. These just have the advantage of being able to mark, say, two spots on your monochord. Let's see if I can find a nice third here for you. And then you can play the notes together. It's a bit of a coordination trick. But to hear your interval uh, with the two notes at the same time. So those are um, features that all of the monochords have. And then next I'll just describe the difference between the basic model and the deluxe model. This is really twofold. One is in the difference in the actual instrument and one is the difference in the division sticks. So the deluxe is simply 
fancier, more decorated. On a monochord, I carve eagle heads on the ends and give it a little bit of a decorative sound hole. Um, I also choose wood that's a little bit more figured. A dichord or a tricord, I can't do the eagle heads, but I instead we do a um, more decorative sound hole. This You can choose what kind of design you'd like. It's made from two thin layers of wood. A uh, very nice little rosette. Um, a basic instrument is will have just these rounded over ends on them, no carving, and just an open uh, circle for a sound hole. But in other respects, it's the same instrument. And then the division sticks are also different. So on a deluxe model, uh, each line is actually an inlaid piece of wood. They're color-coded uh, for the naturals, the sharps, and the flats, and then embossed with a letter name for each natural. So it's very elegant, but also very time-consuming, so that's a uh, difference in cost. Um, the basic division sticks, I just ink lines on them and then write in the letters. The same information, just a little bit more rugged. Uh, your monochord also comes in a case. These are um, custom-made cases. It's a nice rigid cardboard tube. Um, and a canvas bag that fits over it. it has a, a shoulder strap, a carrying handle, um, zipper. Inside there is a polar fleece sock that you slide your monocord into. Uh, be careful with the feet that they don't bonk into the cardboard when you're putting it in and out. Um, division sticks should rest right on the belly of the monocord or you can slide them in the case next to it and then the, the kit supplies come in a little envelope that, that sits in there as well. So that's what you get with a monochord from me at Unprofitable Instruments. Um, the current prices are on my website, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks a lot.